Hello and welcome to another VCross unboxing. Today with VCross Glowing Diva. It's that number P01. And yeah, I I took a look into the card gallery and the the piece cards in this set aren't this strong or at least like not that not that popular. So I don't think from the pieces there's like anything I want to I want to play with, but there are like quite some strong SR cards. Uh, yeah, some even like a little bit more pricey. I would really like to pull these. Uh, Corvus, so it's like a, a raven. That's a cool design. Uh, okay, and the, the life cloth effect is not bad either. Shoes is a Signy. On their field and puts it into the trash so it's not vanished not going into the inner zone that's not bad serious yeah there's one Fenrir. there's one blue sr card which is pretty nice a ray rending blade down up to two targets sticking on your opponent's field she's a little bit expensive with four enna and in total, like you play, f you have to pay four and three, so seven. It's a little bit pricey to me. I don't know if this sees any play, but the effects are not bad. Okay, the first SR right in the first pack, and I think this is not one of the one of the cards that I really wanted to get. Looking at the card gallery, I don't think so. At the beginning of each attack phase, swap the positions of two target Signy on your opponent's field. Oh, but the effect itself doesn't sound this bad. Actually, it sounds kind of fun. Whenever one or more Signy on your opponent's field moves into a different Signy zone, target Signy on your opponent's field gets minus 2000. And yeah, she's a green, green Signy. And there aren't like this effect, the minus 2000 power is usually like a, a black Signy effect. Hmm. So the card is not not one from the price. I think it's like one of the uh, lowest priced SR cards. I actually kind of like the effect. I don't know, maybe the... Uh, the card isn't that good, like I imagine it in my mind. But swapping the the places sounds not bad. And uh, this is a a nice uh, assist, as far as I remember. Down target Signy. Yeah, I think she was also in the in the double heroines starter deck. Because yeah, you can down two in the opponent's turn in the attack phase by discarding two cards and then of course if you have more so yeah and she isn't that pricey like the like the ray so she only costs two enna trouble and percival are oh, the parallel faults for them itself it's so so nice to open boxes really like the the parallel faults I will probably not like foil my decks out with the high pricey stuff because the UR cards or the other higher rarities get pretty expensive pretty fast. But parallel foils are really cool and I like this design. This character design looks so badass. So she's holding like a like a microphone. I first thought it's like a spear. Now that I see it totally like there are like these volume, like these speakers in the background. That's such a crazy fun fun design. Uh team diagram. Whenever the Signy attacks, put the top five cards of your deck or your opponent's deck into the trash. Yeah, I usually am a am a fan to mill the opponent and not myself, but I think there are reasons to do this to your own. <laughs> Uh, for one, Black Anna target Signy on your opponent's field gets minus 5,000 power until end of turn. If you have 20 or more cards in your trash, uh, 
it gets minus 10,000. I wonder if you can, uh, you can first like signi uh, first the, the auto effect. So put your uh, put five cards from yourself into the trash, or if the enter effect happens first. So sometimes I'm a little bit confused by the the orders of the effect. I know that when both effects have or say like enter, you can definitely choose which one first. Like when one effect is enter, pay one, and the other one is enter, this and that, you can choose which enter effect triggers first. But with the auto effect, I actually don't know what's uh, what's the right order. Uh, another assist Elric that I've seen in some deck, I don't remember in which one. Return target signal on your opponent's field to its owner's hand. Yeah, that's a nice effect because uh, the effect doesn't say it's like up to Signy or like there's no condition or like a power condition. You can just say this. So that's a that's a nice effect. And Ko Koela can Phantom Aquatic Beast. Not a mermaid, but she has like this fish features. But yeah, there are like there's a green. Green Signy, which is oh, kind of pricey too, or Sagitsune. So yeah, there aren't, by now there aren't like this many good green cards, just a few. And this is one of the, I think probably one of the strongest. Oh, it's a, it's a secret rare. I think there is a secret rare guaranteed, like secret rare or higher. And a MC Lion secret rare. And yeah, maybe you have seen my older v-cross unboxings where i just uh, was a fan of the artwork i didn't know how to play the game but uh i pulled a, a diva rare mc lion and i i just like the design of the card it's probably not that playable but especially with the gold gold stamp tiger here that's such cool cool card design so team card jockey enter effect is look at the top four cards of your deck Add up two cards from among them into your hand and put the rest into your trash. Ah, only digging four cards is not that deep. Would have been better, of course, if, if it's five. But adding two cards and there's no restriction that you cannot add a cannot add a, a guard. So that's nice. Action game one for zero Anna. This Elric gains whenever this Elric attacks. At the end of the attack, if your opponent didn't take any damage. By the attack, you may down and up level two Elric on your field. If you do up this Elric, okay. So if I attack with uh, with her and the opponent guards, guards, I can down one of my assists and attack again. Okay, I actually like this one. I looked at the the prices on TCG Player a little bit. Uh, but I thought like the, the secret were all were like pretty cheap. I don't know if it's because there are so much so much product has been opened or my guess was first that the older the older Eric's aren't that strong. Like they they power creeped out. That was like my my thinking. But I actually like this one. Hmm. Maybe there is a way to build a deck with her. And yeah, we've got we've got no focus. Uh, enter effect is vanish target signal on your opponent's field. Doesn't say it's up or anything. That's cool for two to enter. Oh, and if you need a way to like spend Anna, you can pay four and crush one of your opponent's life cloth. You can play her in the in the opponent's face. It's also not that bad. Oh, Madoka. I'm always really happy to pull assist Elrix in, in this parallel foil. So pretty. Put target level 2 or less signal on your opponent's field on the bottom of the owner's deck. Yeah, you pay one, one colorless Anna. And I'm I'm a fan of putting cards under the deck, like 
I said it in a in another unboxing that there are like so many cards that give the the Signy again on the hand, which isn't that cool for me. Like like the enter effects when when the opponent can get another time the enter effect and draw a card or something. It's a little bit awkward to me. So, uh, and the other case is that you vanish the Signy, which deals like with the immediate problem, but it gives the, the opponent more Anna to play cards with. So putting cards under the deck, of course, it takes longer for, for you to mill them. But I actually really like the, the strategy behind it. So we've got our first piece. Uh, use condition is you have a white Elric and, and a blue Elric on your field. Put up to two target frozen Signy on your opponent's field into the owner's trash. That's nice too. It's oh, it's nice, but so expensive with five, five colorless Anna. Oh, but yeah, putting stuff into the into the trash instead of in the Anna is of course nice. But maybe there are, maybe there are ways to to get this cheaper. I haven't looked into the the frozen archetype at the moment, so maybe I should do this in the future to get a better uh, feeling for the how expensive some card effects are. Actually, put target Signy on your opponent's field on the bottom, no, on on the top or bottom of its owner deck. If that Signy is level 2 or less, your opponent discards a card. Not bad. Uh, again, a... yeah. For, for 3 Anna. I actually, I actually like her. So she's a level 2 Elric, so it's not like uh, you can play her in the, in the second or in the second turn, so not in the uh, in the beginning of the game, but there should be like still ways in the later game to to hit a level two. Oh, what a cool design! Gives me some Egyptian looks because of the eyes, probably, but it's not a eye of horse. But uh, yeah, there should be ways to use. Oh no, <laughs> to use the the effect on a level two Elric later. So another SR, not one from the from the list I wanted. Uh, Libra, and yeah, I'm not a fan of the the art style. I shuffle up to four target level one signals without the G from your trash into your deck. So maybe you could put this into like a white acro deck, but I don't know how how many small signals this deck plays. Uh, action one per turn for one white. Put the top four cards of your deck into your trash. If two or more level one Signy were put into your trash this way during this turn, the Signy on your opponent's field is vanished. It is put into the trash instead. Okay, it's in a denial, basically. So yeah, you you kind of have to build a deck around this, or it's it could work in a in a deck like this and. I know in, in Magic the Gathering there is like there are like archetypes with uh, I think it's called white weenie. Sounds weird, but it's like um small small white creatures. I don't know if there is like a a deck type similar to this in V Cross. Oh another cool character design, a sago. And TikTok. <laughs> TikTok. But uh, yeah, not the Chinese government spy app. What is what is she doing? Nothing. She do, she does nothing. It's just that you can can use her for for black or white Anna. Copa type spy. I think she got reprinted because I I definitely pulled this card uh, in another box at some point. Akino thumbs up, level one Elric, cost zero. Look at the top seven cards. Hmm, reveal up to one white Signy and one red Signy. Okay. So you cannot get a, a guard. 
can only play it in, in your own turn. Yeah, it's okay, I guess. Uh, for zero, draw a card and enter charge one. And you can play this piece in your opponent's face. So it's not, not really bad, but maybe there are stronger pieces, but I actually don't think it's, it's really, uh, really weak. Like getting one, one mana in your opponent's turn and uh, one card could, could help for zero enter. And then we have Bang, assist at rake level one. Vanish target level three Signy. Oh. Add up to one target Signy from your Amazon to your hand. Uh huh. So yeah, this is like it's a little bit awkward with with her because she's a level one assist. So you kind of you can play her very early in the game. But the question is like how early. Do we have like a level three Signy on your opponent's field? Like not in the second turn, but that she costs like zero. I think the effect on her is pretty strong. Just, I think, awkward that you have to kind of wait until you, you play her. Uh, put the Signy on your field into its owner trash for three colorless Anna. Vanish target Signy on your opponent's field with power. 12,000 or less. Yeah. I like the design, but uh, it's a small signy that you can use later in the game. And uh, the effect, uh, the life cloth effect, uh, it's not looking pretty strong because there are definitely cheaper ways to to vanish as a life cloth effect so feels a little bit more on the the pricey side antras <laughs> i like the the big black kitty <laughs> that's cool akino piece uh level two assist or two can play it in the opponent's face return target level one signy Okay, to its owner's hand. This card can't return. Okay. No, not a big fan. Gets pretty pricey and her being a level 2 assist and not level... I think as a level 1 assist, I would think about playing this. But yeah, later in the game, you want to hit something big and of course there are always... or There will still be... Level 1 or 2 Elrics you can hit. But I don't know. Not my favorite. Now we get Wolf, Laser, Assist. Look at the top 5 cards of your deck. Put up to 2 cards that share color with your center Elric from among them into your inner zone. So I wonder if you have like Mugen. A Mugen is an Elric uh, that's colorless. If you have Mugen, if you can get a guard with this. Or is it like not counting as a color? So colorless is not a color? That's a question. But it's also, I should read the card, right? Oh, because, yeah, you don't get them. Oh, I should read the cards to the end. Uh, you don't get them uh, into your hand. You put them into your inner zone. So it wouldn't make even a sense. I know that in Queen there are ways to get get cards from your inner zone again into your hand or onto the field, but that's like too complicated. Uh, Sangha Swing. Put up to two target cards without a G from your trash into your inner zone. Yeah. So for, for zero, it's a, it's a way to ramp to get more mana. Oh, she pretty. She is really pretty. Man, this artwork, I'm always like, uh, yeah, not really alpha man like, but I really like flowers, especially on clothing, on like kimono and on art in general. I really like flowers and that's, 
That's pretty. Really pretty. Maybe I could read her too. As long as the Signy is in the center, Signy zone, it gets plus 4,000. She's a 12k level 2 Signy. You may rearrange the position of. Oh! Yeah! So cards like this are sometimes awkward because you cannot really plan. Like sometimes you draw it and you have already developed your board and maybe there is like something in the center. And uh, but when she enters the field, you can rearrange the positions. Hmm. She sounds quite okayish, or more than okayish. And the glyph cloth effect is not bad either. Inner char inner charge one. And it's a negate effect when the next Signy attacks, this to negate the attack. I can see her in a deck. That's not bad. DJ love it. Under under attractive? Is it me? And Nova, mute, discard a card, target signal on your opponent's feet gains. The Signy cannot attack until end of turn. Okay, it's one Anna and discarded card. And it's not really dealing with the with the problem. Like of course you can stop an attack for one turn, but it's not like vanishing or putting on the attack or Yeah. Uh we've got Paimon. Uh whenever the Signy attacks, you may put a Signy on your field into its owner trash. If you do target Signy on your opponent's fear, it gets minus 5,000. Hmm. Not a fan of this one. Kinda, kinda small for level 2, or more on the smaller side, I would say. Scotty. I also have seen her, so there, there were definitely reprints at some point, which I didn't know. I, I didn't know I I did know that there were reprints from the from the first set, but from Chloe and Diva I didn't know that. Uh, map code hard. Another SR. It wasn't on my list. Unfortunately. Uh card jockey. Your opponent cannot guard unless they pay an additional Okay. This effect is not that bad. Uh, enter for one Anna. Look at the top three cards of your deck. Reveal up to one spell and one white Signy and add them to your hand. So I can see her in a like mono white. Maybe there is like some kind of spell slinger deck also. But the effects aren't, don't sound so bad actually. Nova slash. I hope. I just hope there's like one, still one SR in the, in the box. Uh, okay, just a, a big one level one Signy, which can pay for white and blue. Scotty. Bubble. I. Yeah, this is another, reprinted card. Akino thumbs up. Look at the top seven cards. Okay, we have seen her before. With another SR. I don't think she was on my list either. Uh, it's a white Signy. Sometimes it's hard to read. Like oh, the artwork. Uh, the artwork is so colorful. She could be like every color. Uh, the base level of all level two and level three Signy in your deck and trash becomes one. During your turn, level 1 Signy on your field cannot be vanished by your opponent's effect. Uh -huh. This sounds like you can do something funny with it too. And the life cloth effect is choose one down up to two target Signy on your opponent's field. Yeah, or draw a card. Because effect like this sometimes can be awkward, like when this triggers uh, after the Elric effect and there aren't like Signies you can down or you can still draw a card. The, art, the artwork is like so colorful and pretty. 
that's cool. Still like the, the green SR Signy that I wanted, or uh, there was like, yeah, the blue, there was a blue one I wanted to get. Not lucky. No luck for me, but uh, yeah. I will probably get another box at some point. Another big level, level one. Double color Signy. And yeah, last pack from the box. Then we have the the Force of Will pack to end this video. Akino piece. Okay, yeah, that's that's pretty. Probably won't play her, but as I said, uh, assist Elrix and parallel foyer are always a nice hit. So yeah, thank you for watching. For more content, please check out my channel. I, I do open some other stuff too, but yeah, my main focus is uh, at the moment V-Cross. So, yeah. And we have an SR, but no Anubis for me. Well, it looks badass. That'd be cool. Gives me like uh, Lucifer vibes. It's a fallen angel too. So, yeah. Thank you for watching. See you in my next unboxing. Bye.